So today I have a really fun and exciting video for you guys. In this video, we're going to make this environment in Unreal Engine 5. We're going to use a new plugin in this video. The plugin is called Dash. So Dash is basically a set of procedural level design tools, which lets you create environments and levels within minutes. It's really cool. I would highly suggest you to check it out. Links are in the description. Before we start with the video, I would like to thank all the people who support the channel on Patreon. Thank you so much for your support. It really means a lot. If you want to support my channel, I'm going to leave a link to my Patreon page down in the description. Okay, now let's set our lighting first. So we are going to add a Dyson light, set it to movable. We are going to add a skylight, set that to movable as well. Turn on real time capture. So we are going to set all our lighting elements to movable because we are going to use lumen. After that, we are going to add a sky atmosphere system. After the sky atmosphere, we are going to add an exponential height fog object. Turn on the volumetric fog. And lastly, to finalize with the lighting, we are going to add a post process volume and lock our exposure. So search for infinite extents, turn this on. And search for exposure and set it to manual exposure. Again, if you want to learn more about lighting, I have a dedicated video that covers everything in detail. So you can check it out. Okay, now let's start with the environment creation process. And we're going to use dash for this. So click right there and that's going to open up the dash window. This is the dash search bar. Let's start by creating our landscape. Just search for terrain. Click on the create terrain. And that's going to create your landscape. Dash gives you a lot of different procedural options. So you can change the seed. You can change the curvature of your landscape. You can change the height of your landscape. So these are the quick options. If you want to go in the advanced options, you can click right there. So these are the advanced options. So yeah, I'm just going to increase my subdivision and that's going to increase the polygon density of my landscape. Okay, now let's finalize our landscape by giving it a material. Click on the bridge icon right there. We're going to add a bridge material. So if you're using Dash for the first time, you have to specify the assets path of your mega scan assets. So search for a grass material and drag and drop it to apply it on your landscape. Now, if you want to make changes in your landscape, you can select your landscape and click right there. So this is a totally non-destructive process. If you click right here, these are the material options. So you can change the material options from here. You don't need to open up the material instance and this really speeds up your workflow. Now let's create a pond. So I'm going to search for create primitive. This is going to create a plane. So just position the plane like that. Select the plane, search for water. And we're going to give it a water material. This water material is totally customizable. So these are my tree meshes and I want to scatter them onto my landscape. So just search for surface scatter. So the surface scatter tool has two options, the surface, which you want to scatter on and the scatter. These are the actual meshes, which are going to be scattered. So select your tree meshes and press the plus button to add them in the scatter. Now select the landscape and assign it as a surface. And there we go. Our trees are scattered on our landscape. Now you can select your trees and you can click right there to get access to the quick access options. So now here you can change the density. You can change the minimum and maximum scale. So feel free to change these scatter options and see how it affects your environment. Now you're going to run into a problem here. 
You can see that our tree is spawning in the water as well and we don't want that. So we can easily fix this by using a proximity mask. So bring up the advanced options and we need to assign this water body as a proximity object. So assign that as a proximity object, invert the proximity mask and increase the proximity distance. And that's going to make sure that your trees are not going to spawn in the water. So similarly, as we scattered our trees, I'm also going to scatter some grass objects. The areas around a pond really feel empty. So I want some trees to be spawned around the edges of this water body. So first I'm going to add a curve. This is the curve tool. This tool lets you draw curves really easy and efficiently. So I'm going to trace out the outline of this water body. After creation of your curve, you can resample it. So you can basically choose a number of points. Looks good. Now to spawn objects on our curve, we are going to use the path scatter tool. The path scatter needs two things, the path, which is the curve and the meshes. So just select your curve and assign it in the curves. Select the tree meshes and assign it in the scatter. And that's going to scatter your meshes onto this curve. Again, you can change the density and all these settings. And as you can see, this is totally non-destructive. Using the surface scatter, I'm going to scatter some rock meshes on my landscape. Now let me show you how to add decals. Dash really has a powerful decal placer. Just drag and drop this on the mesh. You can see all the shortcuts right there. And this really makes the decal placing process really fun and efficient. I mean, the manual way is really, really a pain. And Dash allows you to place these decals in a really fun and efficient way. Next, I'm going to add some water plants. Hold down the control key and drag and drop this right here. If you do that, that will give you some scatter options. So we want to scatter this right here. So now we have the grass material under the water, which is not right. I mean, that should have a different material. So let's fix that. Select the water plane and hide it. And we are going to simply place some mega scan assets under the water surface. And again, the mesh placing tool really speeds up our workflow. Now I'm going to add these wooden poles and I want to add some cables between them. So I'm going to add some spheres. These spheres are going to be the start and the end points of our cables. And after that, we're going to search for cables and click on the cables tool. We're going to assign these spheres as our start and end objects. And you can change some settings here. So we have the radius, we have the density and the gravity options. You can also assign a material to these cables. Now let's finalize with the environment by doing some color grading and post processing. So just search for cycle grading. And after that, if you press control G, you can cycle through different grading. So these are like grading templates. So as you can see how easy it is to make an environment using Dash. So I hope you learned something in this video. If you did leave a like down below, subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. That's it. I'm going to see you guys in the next video.